Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of our um, new tiny build zoo, whatever you want to call it, um, where we are um, doing South American animals in Europe, in the grassland. Let's jump back into it. Um, if you missed last episode, that is perfectly fine. Um, again, we are going to post videos every Sunday about this um, this zoo, and actually, one thing I did not do, but I do want to do, is, oh, I don't want to exit, okay, let's go and turn the animals, where is it at, game, animal settings, I want to reduce it to, like, four, um, just because I want to make sure that's saved. Yes, it did. Okay, perfect. Um, I just want to make sure that our animals are, we're going to get to know the animals and have fun with it. Um, and then every other episode I am planning on doing will be a time lapse and then one will be a management. Um, you can take a look at our cash. We have just over $500. So there won't be much managing today as much as uh, managing our money. Um, we do have all of the necessities we have um, we have food and drink times two all right here for our guests and um, they walk right over the flamingo habitat and enclosure which is pretty exciting let's go ahead and say hello to you um niles bannick i think i pronounced that right if you're ever watching this episode please let me know if i mispronounced that i would uh greatly appreciate it and then I can try to correct myself um so we looks like we have some pretty happy guests we don't have any bins or uh, benches or anything like that um let's see if I can find where to get those and we are doing South America so let's get South America theme yeah, I think this would be really cool, I think. Um, I do like the South American theme. It's very out there. Um, but this is a very small zoo. Um, literally, this is all the bigger I wanted. Like, so super small, but hopefully it'll be great. And yeah, let's go ahead and get a couple of waste bins or bins as some people call them some people call them garbages whatever it is that you call them let's get a couple in and we don't have any guest um education so let's get that what do we have for challenges I have at least 300 people in the zoo that would be great um because then we get another thousand dollars and we're we're barely hanging on um, adopt and place two different exhibit species, which we actually probably won't do. Um, earn a yearly souvenir profit of $500, and we don't actually have any souvenirs in the zoo yet. Um, I forgot about that when I was getting these in here. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Nothing we can't fix later let's see what we can do for let's, oh that's what we got to do um it's forty dollars for the education board and so let's go ahead and get two oh all right now we can only get one but that will help our education um we're at negative fifteen dollars we are negative now with money I was uh, worried that getting the flamingos might do that to us because they are not the greatest uh, when it comes to the, um, whatchamacallit, I can't think of what it's called. Um, if we look at it, and maybe I can find it and then I can remember, um, the appeal, yes, that is what. It's only at 750 appeal rating, so guests kind of like to see them, but it's not the greatest. I think one of the most popular uh, animals we get in here will be the jaguar. 
or J-U-R, however you want to pronounce it again. Um, and I am planning, I think I'm going to try to do this um, where it's layered terrain all the way around. So it's kind of like we have a mountain and then it's like just layered down. Um, and then I'm thinking we'll do the Baird's Trap here and then the Anteater probably over here. Or they are, um, we can put them mixed and they get an interspecies bonus. So we might do that. And then we could do the llamas over here with a little bit of a walkthrough. It'd be kind of cool. And then we can do the jaguars over here. I think that is probably the plan I will stick with. Again, this series is only going to be about at most eight episodes long. Um, and I want to do a couple of these different series. So if you have an idea for what to do next, I want to stick with um, like animals from a, like a similar region and then bring them to a different continent in a zoo. I think that would be really neat and nifty and everything like that. Uh, we got the first level of flamingo research done. It is starting to get dark out, which reminds me that we should probably change our... We can probably boost the price up to uh, $5. Five dollars um, of adults, and then we can change the end, like the closing time. Most zoos around my area close at like 5 p.m. I think if we close at 6 p.m., open 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., I think that's a little early. Let's open at 8, maybe? Yeah. That's um, good. 10 hours of being open. That is, I feel like, what most zoos are, if not even less than that. What do, is this? Yeah, guest happiness. Guests are extremely happy, which is pretty amazing. Um, oh my goodness. Guys, um, I just realized we don't have any um, donation bins. Um, we might have just screwed ourselves over from day one. We need, uh, $500. And then we can get some donation bins. Um, otherwise, how much? You are 10, you're 10, you're 10. We might have to delete some benches and try to come up with that. Um, hmm. I don't think we're gonna, I think we might have to take out a loan otherwise. I was really hoping to not have to take out a loan, but unfortunately, I uh, forgot about that little detail of um, how you get money. Um, let's take a look at what loans we could possibly take out. Uh, we can take out a $5,000 loan and we can pay it off like right away. Um, we're only going more negative, so let's do that and just make it so we can repay it really fast. Let's get a couple of donation bins. That one like right there, perfect. And then we might as well, we will get this loan paid off throughout the this year I did change it so we will um, let's get a couple more education boards um, right here cool let's set them we, we want really educated guests and that's gonna be really hard to do because we're gonna have such a small zoo but I think I think we can do the accept the challenge and yeah let's go ahead and get some speakers i think if we have all of the area like a guest walks in and have that all like in a speaker zone i think that is how we will accomplish that um so let's get you set up and we can Will a guest stand there? I think one will. We might need to move this 
keyboard over, speaker over to there. And then I guess won't stand right there. So that will be good. And then we can set this one up. Um, that one's only gonna go to seven, which is fine. Um, and yeah. So there we are, we have, how's that loan doing? Um, we are uh, paying $54 in interest total, which is um, kind of stinks, but without the donation bins, I don't think we can have a successful zoo. Um, let's get some more because I see guests are standing here to look at the flamingos, which is perfect. It's like exactly what I wanted. Um, but let's just make sure that they can donate wherever they want. Um, and yeah, let's see how is our info center doing. We can go ahead and get some of these prices up. I think an audio book or an audio guide, I think $3 right now is fine. I don't know that many people are going to be buying that. Um, let's keep us the cheap adoption at 10. We can do 30 for the normal and then 60 for the expensive. Um, and we'll keep all of the umbrella prices the same. Uh, we are making money here. Here, let's see what our prices are. Um, I do believe if you add condiments and then like some, it makes guests happier. Even though it chips into our profits, um, guest happiness is very um, important to us right now. Let's go ahead and synchronize that. And again, we're making money there. Uh, we're making money at all of our shops, I believe. Let's turn on all of these um, condiments and get some more guest happiness. I think if we do it from the bottom up, we don't have to scroll as much. There's a tip if you are um, also playing Planet Zoo and enjoying it. Let's turn on that synchronization of all of the stops and shops. We do have more people going to this side. Are they making money? They are. All of our shops are making money, which is amazing. Um, means we don't have to worry about them not making a profit. Which I think we're actually going to earn more money through the uh, shops than we will donations, at least for the beginning until we can get another animal in. Hopefully we can get another animal in soon. Hopefully next episode we're at $2,000, but I'm not sure what that compares to with the loan that we took out. I will check on that in just a second once we uh, get done with these clicking and clicking and clicking. Um, I'm not sure what we have going on in our zoo. Hopefully the flamingos are fine and not stressed. I do know they get stressed, so that is why... Um, I think one of the very next things we're going to build, I will build a shelter. Um, and then I also want to stay away from blueprints. I want to do mainly whatever we can without the blueprints. Um, how are we doing with the money? Also, if you're wondering why I am in this situation, it is because I spent a lot of money on terrain. Um, maybe went a little too much in the shops right away. Um, and we don't have the greatest appeal of animals. Got $90 in that bin, $10, zero, zero, zero. Made $100. Do we... Oh, there we go. We got $500 for increasing the education to 4%. Perfect. And I am visiting, um, so I can't say hello to get any more points. We got 389 conservation points. 
that's awesome. And we need to call the mechanic because that fence looks pretty broken down. Um, and there's our food. What else can we do? We should probably get security in before that becomes an issue. Um, let's see. I suppose we don't need to look at the map because I know that we don't have any security. Um, that's not security. Here's security. We can put up some do not disturb signs as well. We'll uh, get that kind of lowered in so that it doesn't affect the guests. Now let's see, what does that do for the do not disturb? It does cover that area, which is awesome. Perfect. Um, let's see, we need cameras and guards. Let's get a couple of cameras. I know they're expensive, but they're well worth it. Um, we're gonna do one like way in the back here so that it will cover the shops and the entrance bit. And then we can do another one like right here. And then just future proofing, let's get one right. I think it was like right here compared. Perfect. We probably shouldn't be future proofing, but we are. So that's what happens. Let's get one right here to cover up that little bit there. Um, and I do want to do, I'm not sure whether we will do like flowers here. Um, an animal escaped? How'd you get out? We're just gonna... I want to know how you got out because... Oh, they can jump up there? Well, I wasn't aware of that. Um, at least it's not a dangerous animal, so guests aren't running. Um, let's get some rocks so that, actually, you know what I've never seen in our finances is refunds. We still didn't get refunds, which is crazy to me. Um, let's see exactly where that was again. Okay, if we move this rock down. Actually, let's delete that rock and get a different rock. I thought I got th just ran right out. <laughs> the vet is just like, oh, come on, not again. Um, what am I looking in nature? Yeah. And then we want continent, Europe. Nope. That doesn't work. We want grassland. Um, I feel like this might have been the rock that we had. Okay, try you now. There we go. Now they can't jump out. Until they can. We'll figure that out. Oh, you can walk up there. That's interesting. Perfect. Well, you know, we didn't have, we didn't lose that much money, did we? No, we still haven't had that. I think our biggest cost right now is... We only have 500. We don't have very much for donations. We are in April of year two. Um, let's see, our zoo is still low on cash. How much do we have till we pay off that loan? Oof. Still $1,700. We could really use some more donations, um, I think. Probably 
You know, we might have to take out a loan to get another animal in. Um, or another... Yeah. Maybe... I'm thinking next episode we'll put the um, anteater and Baird's trap here. here. Probably come, like, out to here. We'll figure it out um, in the time lapse. And... Yeah. I... Let's fast forward. Maybe that will help with things. Did we get a new challenge yet? No. Hey, I saw money go right into the the bin. That's six hundred two dollars. Are we making money now? No, we still have a thousand dollars to repay. But hey, if we can still keep that green arrow there just a little bit. That is all we need. Inspectors is arriving in seven months. 87 guests. I don't know about you, but I probably wouldn't come to a zoo like this. Um, where it's just... What are, in or what are guests' thoughts? Seen better, bigger and better zoos. Time's just flown by. Thinking... A lot of people are going to be um, thinking the zoo could use some expanding. We do get a lot of drink sales when it is hot, which is pretty cool. Oh, and they're, they're about to mate? Was it successful? Check on the female? No. It wasn't. Um... Net, well, let's see. What well, can we get any more flamingos in? Hmm. Can't really afford to buy any. You have per some pretty good stats. What is? Huh. Let's see. We don't have that many conservation credits. Um. You, if we can save up $185, it might be worth it. Because we need to get a lot of uh, flamingos in. And you're really young. Ooh. It's mind-boggling how long flamingos live. At least to me it is. Um, are we going to be able to get that money? Probably not for a while. Um, let's see, the loan is paid, so now all income is ours. It's perfect. We are in year three. Do we get that? Oh, vet, vet research is complete. Let's see. Let's go ahead and slow down time. Inspector is here now. Sonner. Um, yeah, we do need to definitely get our inspector report it was three star. We don't have much for education yet. Um, we will definitely need to fix that up and get some more. Um, let's see, do we have any, we should have some enrichment for greater flamingo. We have a bunch of them, actually. That's perfect. So once we can afford, we will definitely get some. Um, place? No, we're not doing exhibit animals. I should also delete you. I, I really don't want to take out a loan next episode, but we might have to. Why does it say insufficient funds? We don't... We can afford it. Um, we can't really get any of the toys... Yet. We can do a mir mirror mobile pretty quick here. So we were just at that amount. Someone donate so we can get this. 
please? Please, any donations would be much appreciated. Then our flamingos can be happier. Um, please? We got it. Best hundred dollars ever spent. Can't see the flamingos very well from here. Well, because you're standing here and you could get like all the way over here. Um, I want to click on the flamingo right here. You have 100% toy, which is perfect. I think we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, let me know which animal we should get next. I am really excited for this series. I hope you guys are as well. Um, next episode, or hopefully soon, we will start decorating and getting more flamingos in. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!